So the periodic table is before us and you can view it. These are the total different types of atoms before us. So the whole of the world is made of these different types of atoms. And every stuff around us, anything around us is made of these different types of atoms. So if we want to understand the different stuff around us, the different type of things around us, we need to understand these different types of atoms. And with the understanding of these different types of atoms, we can understand the different type of objects and different type of things around us. Scientists did a detailed research on the inside of the atoms and they found that atom can be further subdivided, atoms can be further divided into three basic particles. These are the proton, neutrons and electrons. So these are the three basic particles which are present in the atom and when atom is divided we got these three different type of the particles proton, neutron and electrons. These are called three basic particles of the atoms. So these different type of atoms around us have different number of protons and electrons in them. And to understand these different type of atoms, we need to understand these protons, neutrons and electrons present inside the atoms. So there are some basic properties of these uh, three particles and these, this will be shown before you. So this is the periodic table before us and the periodic table is having two numbers and these two numbers are very important. The first for example iron, for iron this is the smaller number 26 and this is the bigger number, larger number this is 55.845. This smaller number is called the proton number, it is also called atomic number and this bigger number is the nucleon number and this is also called atomic mass. So we shall talk more about the proton number and the nucleon number. Also to get a basic understanding about the periodic table, this periodic table is divided into columns and rows. So this vertical column, vertical column is the group and this tells us the number of electrons in the last shell these all elements belongs to group 1. So these all elements have one electron in the last shell. This is the group 2. So all these elements have two electrons in their last shell because the group number tells us the number of electrons in the last shell. This is the period number 1. The period number 1 is having two elements, hydrogen and helium. Period number tells us the number of shells in the atom. So there is only one shell in the hydrogen and helium. This is the period number two. So for lithium to neon, this, these all belong to period number two. So period number tells us the number of shells in the atom. So these all have two shells in their atom. So this is the period number 3, so period number 3 means from sodium to argon, these all have 3 shells in the atom. So this is a, a view of the periodic table before us. Periodic table gives us a lot of information, a number of information we can extract from the periodic table, the group number, the period number, the nucleon number and the proton number. And uh, I would like to suggest that we should consult this periodic table again and again and we should try to get um, as many information from the periodic table and from the elements of the periodic table as it is possible. The more you will be expert of uh, extracting and uh, taking out information from the periodic table, 
the better and we need periodic table in the examination hall as well as in our everyday life problem solving uh, time we need the periodic table and we need to consult it time and again.